Hello and welcome to HSN or Hades Star News. This is the show where I am bringing you all of the news in Hades Star, hence the name. Uh, depending on how the, how well this video goes, I will make some more of these. So if you go on to enjoy the video, hit the, hit the like button and subscribe. So I've been wanting to make this video now for a while because there is a lot of things happening in the Hades Star universe. Um, and we're starting off now with the new update that has come out. This update now has been focusing on developing higher level gameplay. You can see here we've straight off the bat new content and features. Battleship and transport can be upgraded to level six, uh, which is very cool. Not just limited now by level five. That was a you know one and a half million credit upgrade for battleship level five anyway. So they've added in the level six there uh, to go at miners. Uh, we've got the permanent white star event. Which I believe that we had one of those not too long ago. Like it was a temporary one, lasted a month. And we've got Cerberus Ghosts, which we can see here, which is like just this swarm of Cerberus ships that come in. And on their on their own, they don't do very much damage. But look at them all together. Look at the amount of damage they do to the area shield there. Um, the big swarm of them. And then for some reason, they start going away. Then when they reach the the waypoint, I don't know what that is. If that's a bug or whatever. Um, we've also got a new module which is Suspend, which is a, an RS9 upgrade, I think so that's just the opposite of Time Warp. And now modules can be upgraded to level 12 instead of level 10. Um, speaking of modules, we have Destiny has been nerfed inside in Blue Star, so you can't. it's not really a sort of a, a necessary now to win a, a Blue Star. Time Warp is in a nerf with regards uh, the area of effect. Um, EMP has had a slight nerf at higher levels, Omega Shield has had a slight buff at higher levels, Laser has had a massive buff I believe um, in, in sort of mid to high levels, Unity has had quite a large buff as well, Salvage slightly nerfed at higher levels, uh, Suppress nerfed at all levels in red and white stars, Shipment Drone not really much there, just a small tweak in the hy hydrogen cost, Mirror Shield was given a buff which was very much needed, but I still don't believe that it is comparable to Omega Shield. I still think that Omega Shield is better. Uh, we've got Mass Battery, which has been buffed for high level. I assume to combat against those ghosts there, because there are lots of them, and you probably wouldn't need Mass Battery to take them out. Uh, Vengeance has been given a slight buff, I believe, and Alpha Drone has been given another buff, and then a couple of tweaks to the blueprint requirements of modules. Now there's a vote that has gone on that has been created by Mr. Bubbles. Um, I really like that name by the way. And basically it is just this this poll and it has a load of possible uh, Hades Star tweaks or updates and stuff like that and basically what's going to happen is you can go into this link and you can vote for which one you want and it's sort of like a, a cup type thing where you've got a round and then whoever wins, whichever module wins that round uh, advance to the next stage and then eventually whichever one wins the entire competition that gets definitely gets implemented into the next one this is no joke this is no nothing there is a new game coming to the Hades Star universe and well one of the the main questions that they've raised here is why not simply add an update to the existing game and just add in whatever you whatever you want to add in from this new game into the current game and there are two main reasons that Andreas has given for this. Uh, the first one being that there are some core elements of the game that you cannot ha that you cannot change in Hades Star. Hades Star is at nature a strategy game. You cannot have something like real time combat without compromising the strategy of the game. It just turns it into a completely different game. So because of that, they're making another game. It's it's tied into the universe, it's tied into this galaxy, except that it can be made it can be made a new game in in essence. Uh, Second reason that they've given for making a new game rather than just adding on to the existing older game is that having a new game will bring in more players into the Hades Star community, ergo increasing the amount of players that play both games. And they feel that that will increase the, the 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 player base of both games and of the entire Hades Star community essentially. Now while I agree that a new game may bring in more players, I don't 
agree with the fact that they're using it as their reason for making a new game. And the reason for that is essentially because they aren't really doing a lot to bring in more players into the game. That's just from what I've seen. They like I mean you don't see any advertisement for the game Hades Star. If they wanted to bring in more players, making a new game isn't going to do that. Advertising the pre-existing game is going to do that. And this is highlighted very well by this guy named Techco, I think. I've, I've never really heard of him before. Or, okay, yeah, so he's this, you know, small YouTuber anyway. Um, but basically, the argument that he puts forward is that if you want other people to get the game, you have to invest in marketing and advertisement. And that saying that we're making this new game so that we can bring in more players into the Hades Star community. Well, yes, it, prob it probably will bring in some new players. But frankly, saying that that's the reason that you're making the game, or that that's one of the reasons that you're making the game, it's just an excuse. And don't get me wrong, I'm looking forward to the game, I will definitely get it, and I think that it really does have potential to be very, very good, and I hope that it is. But saying that you're making it to bring in new players into the Haiti Star community is just an excuse. Saying that you're making it because there are core elements of Haiti Star that you cannot tamper with, such as the fact that it's a strategy game and not, you know, uh, you, you can't just add in combat and real-time stuff into it without compromising the core element of the game, which is the strategy. Yes, that is a valid reason for making the new game and not just updating the pre-existing one with whatever you want into it. But saying that you're making it simply to... not Not just simply, but saying that you're making the game to bring new players into the into the Hades Star community as one of your reasons. I'm just not buying it, it's just an excuse. Um, but like, I mean, I really do think that advertising is needed if you want to bring in new players into it, into the game, because, well, if, if there wasn't, then there wouldn't be advertisements for anything. And, well, there are, like, I mean, you've all seen advertisements for different games, but I mean, like, you don't. You can't bring in new players into the game unless people know about it. And simply releasing a game, a new game, without letting anyone know about it, by form of advertising and marketing and stuff like that, isn't gonna work. I mean, don't get me wrong. It. I. I. I really like the idea of the game, and I really like a lot of what is going on at the moment in the development of Hades Star. And trust me, when Tech releases his video about this new announcement it will be so much more worse than mine trust me but you know i just i, I just don't feel like saying oh we're our, our effort to bring new players into the community is by releasing a new game I, i'm not buying that i don't want to end this video on a bad note so i'm going to bring you the most important inarguably the most important piece of Yep, I got the million cap, I'm on my way to RS7. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, let me know what you think about this in the comments. Is there anything that I can add into this video that will make it better? Let me know. And if you enjoyed, subscribe, like, you know the drill, bye bye.